Hi everyone, it's Boom Yudhisnanar here from Team Scorpion. I'm very excited to be showing you this new ESC released by Scorpion. It's called the Tribunus 120 Amp ESC. It's rated at 120 Amps continuous current and it can be used to up with up to a 6 cell LiPo battery. So you can see this ESC is very compact and you can connect cooling fans up to them. This ESC is designed from the ground up it's all new uh, the hardware is newly designed all the way from the ground up and the firmware is also all new the governor for this ESC and the helicopter very nice and I'm sure you would enjoy using this ESC the new features on this ESC some of the new features are full data logging you can see all the amp spikes voltage drops temperature of the ESC or even the BEC on this uh, e speed controller. This ESC uses a 32-bit microprocessor unit with 60 megahertz um, speed which is very fast. Components um, in this ESC are from the automotive world which can handle temperatures of up to 145 Celsius and they are very robust. This ESC can be programmed very easily using this V-Link 2 cable up here, which is also compatible with the older um, Commander series um, ESCs. So, in this video I'm going to be showing you to how to get this ESC on your helicopter and flying ASAP. First thing you need to do in order to set up the ESC is to download the software in the V-Link 2 cable driver. Go to scorpion-team.com and create an account by clicking on register on the top uh, part of the page here. And, and then after you've created an, an account, you can go to the download section down here to the, to the left of the page. I've lo already loaded the um, download page here. So after that, after creating an account, download and install the helicopter ESC program and a V-Link 2 cable driver. Download and install those and we'll go back to the helicopter and connect up the ESC. So after installing your software and installing your driver, you're going to connect your ESC up to your helicopter. I've already mounted mine on the Gaui X5 V2. You can check the mounting diagram here and you can pause the video if you don't want to go to the manual. After connecting this up, I would recommend recommend um, before setting up your ESC disconnecting two of the motor cables so that the, the motor doesn't accidentally spool up. And to connect your ESC to the computer is very easy. Connect your Scorpion V-Link 2 cable up to your programming lead here and then plug it into the computer on a USB port. And then plug in your power to the ESC. ESC should fire up and we go back to the computer. So on your computer here you're gonna go ahead and click connection up here. Click search and it should automatically connect. If it turns green here it means you're connected and ready to go or you can see that all your parameters are running then it means you're connected. First thing you want to do click firmware and check for updates. It's going to show the latest firmware here. If you're not at the latest firmware, go ahead and click action. You have to click um, get. It's going to say get. You click get. It's going to bring you back to the browser page on teamscorpion.com. And you're going to have to um, click purchase the firmware. But it's free. You just need to um, click purchase and check out on the web page. And after you've checked on the web page, you might need to restart your program. After you've restarted, go back to firmware, check for updates. It should be, the action should be ready to install. So you can just click install and it'll bring you through that page. I'm already done with the updating, so I'm going to exit there. To set up the ESC, it's very, very easy. You can name your e you can come to this first play first, um, first menu here. It's a gear, gear shape. To um, configure your ESC, so the name you can name it whatever you want. I have mine. I have a typo there, but 
don't worry about that. It's not re it's not a 160 amp ESC. Um, device mode you can if you're running a normal receiver, select PID with recalculated value. If you're running a VBAR, select VBAR PID. Or if running a external governor, select external PID. PID. I'm running a normal RX, so it's the PID with recalculated value. VEC voltage, select whatever you need. Mine is the MKS DS670, which runs at 6.1 volts. Rotation, you can select clockwise or counterclockwise. It's um, you can check when you run your e ESC. Communication protocol is standard for normal receiver. If it's uh, VBAR, VBAR, you need to select VBAR. So I'm running normal RX, so standard is fine. Moving on to the sec second page to the right here, it's the helicopter icon. You can select soft start from fast, medium, or slow, or you can select manually whatever soft start um, time you want. Maximum is 60 seconds, so I'm just going to select medium 10 seconds. Rep acceleration is 4 seconds. It's the time it takes from one RPM to another. So I'm switching, for example, I'm switching from idle up 1 to 2. It'll take 4 seconds to stabilize the RPM. Bailout acceleration is uh, when you uh, go to throttle hold at 25%. It'll cut off the power. But if you switch off the throttle hold, if you want to bail from a auto rotation, 2.1 seconds is the time that it's going to take to go back to the RPM. But you can select your any fast, medium, slow preset. I'm going to select it to fast. Governor, um, it's very easy to use soft, default, or hard. I'm just going to go for hard. But if you fly not so rough, then you can select default or soft. It depends on what you like. You can come back and select that. And then we're not going to talk about the airplane page because we're setting up helicopter. So we're going to go to the protection page. Cutoff delay is how many seconds it takes to cut off the ESC when it meets a certain parameter. <coughs> Leave that at default, it's basic and easy, the easiest. Second one is the minimum voltage. I'm selecting mine to 8 volts. You can select it higher if you want your ESC to cut off at a higher voltage. Maximum temperature, you can select whatever you want up to 140, 150 Celsius, I think. I'm going to select mine 140 because mine is I'm running flying in Thailand. It's very hot. ISNS max value is the maximum amp amp um, maximum current that ESC will allow. I'm setting mine 160 because I fly fairly hard. You can select lower at 100 amps or 130 depends on you. Cutoff power is selected at 50 percent, so it'll cut off when the ESC is in cutoff mode. It'll come down to the 50 percent RPM of the motor battery max power is you can select that to whatever amp per hour you run you want to cut off so for example you run a 5000 milliamp pack which is 5 amps per hour if you select 4 amp per hour here the moment your ESC takes 4 4000 milliamps or 4 amps the ESC will cut off so it's like saving your battery as well I'm not going to select that. I'm just going to leave it at zero. So once you've done all your setup here, just go ahead up here and click save. Your ESC is going to reinitialize. And you're done. This is all you need to do when you do the basic setup. So after this, you can go ahead and play with your program as you wish. After this, we're going to go um, do the throttle range calibration. So I'm just going to go ahead and get my radio and be right back. After you've done your programming in the computer, now you have to do the throttle range calibration. To do that on your radio, you would need to set a throttle curve, a linear curve from zero to hundred percent like so. And the steps to calibrate the ESC are very simple. You just put your throttle all the way to the top connect your flight pack it's gonna have a, a beep tone one beep and then you lower your stick to zero it's gonna have another set of tones and then your calibration is done so let's go ahead and do that so 
throttle to full. Connect. That's the tone, lowered to zero. That's the rest of the tone set and your calibration is done. So now to set your throttle curve on your radio. So once you've selected a um, governor mode on your ESC, you would need to set the throttle curve in a straight line position like so. So this is what I recommend for the um, for the normal curve setup. This is what I always do for all my Scorpion ESCs is that from zero when I lift the stick up to a certain level it goes to 65% and initializes the governor and it sets the RPM at 65% and it's governed. So in order to use the governor on the Scorpion ESC you need to set your curve at a flat. So for mine, my helicopter runs at a very nice RPM for normal flying at 65%. I'll just go ahead and set like this. Zero, 65% flat. So for idle up one and two, it also needs to be a flat curve, like so. So it's all the way flat at 85% at idle up one. And at idle up two is at 100% flat. So that's the throttle curve you need to set in order to use the governor properly on the Scorpion Tribunus ESC. So that's your throttle range, uh, sorry, your throttle curve set up on your radio. Let's go ahead and check the throttle hold. So for the throttle hold, you would just want to set a normal hold switch and hold it at 0% and that will finish the case for the throttle hold setup. So after you've done all the computer setup and the radio setup for the ESC, you're ready to go out and have some fun with this bad boy. Hope you enjoyed the video and please have fun with this new ESC. Thank you very much.